Okay, today we're going to show you how to have a fish fry. So we've caught a lot of fish over the spring, and this is what we like to do when we get a bunch of fish. And this is a this is a good part to have right here when we get all these fish together and friends and family. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to get our cooker set. As you can see, we've took a tarp and we've laid it out here on the porch so that we don't get our grease on the deck of the porch. And we're under a a roof today because it's going to rain so we have that privilege um, so what we're going to do is we're going to connect our cooker to our bottle and these cookers you can buy at BassProShops.com and they're pretty reasonable on price and work really well and, and what we have over here is a cast iron pot with our dipper and you can get stainless steel rather than cast iron and they work just as well um, um, we use both but today we have this one so and then we've got our container here when we get get our fish fried we'll put all of our fish in this container and keep them warm so the first things first we'll get this bottle hooked up and then we'll, we're going to cook other things so we're going to cook our whatever we cook we want to cook before we fry our fish that way the fish because the batter of the fish gets into the grease and everything so so we'll get our potatoes and everything set up later so we'll go ahead and set the bottle up what we want to do is take the take the hose and we'll insert it into the bottle make sure your bottle is off turned clockwise really tight no gas coming out so what we'll do is we'll get it started we'll get it untangled there and a lot of the bottles that you use will have backwards threads so instead of turning your threads to the right in a counterclockwise position you will turn them left on propane most propane tanks and gas bottles so you want to remember that step and getting set up so now that we have it all screwed in and secure we'll take a wrench that's a crescent wrench get it fitted to the nut Lock down, we don't want to over tighten, we just want to get it snug. Nice and firm, snug. Okay, now here will be our gas adjuster. So now what we want to do is first let me grab a lighter really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, now that we have our lighter, we'll turn our propane tank on. Turn it all the way up. And then we've got a, uh, a valve that opens our hose going to our cooker. So we'll want to open it up. And when we open it up, you can hear the gas slightly coming out. You just want it just to, just to slight. So when you're lighting it, that it doesn't burn you. So I can barely hear it now. And you might be able to hear it on the camera. But anyway, we'll get that adjusted. And we'll take our lighter. And it usually doesn't take much. We'll just quickly, that way you're not burning. Now our, now our burner is lit. We will crank the fire up to a nice firm heat we'll set our pot on it once the pot's in place the pot will pretty much stay there until the fish fry is over unless an emergency has come up so, so now that we've got that I will get us some cooking oil and be right back for that Okay, now that we have our 
cooking oil, we use canola oil uh, by this oil mark. So it works real well. What we're going to do is now that it's starting to heat, we're just going to go ahead and fill our fill our pot up. And it's usually going to take a little more than a gallon, so I'm going to pour this whole entire gallon in this pot. Now we'll open this one and get just a little more on it. You want your pot to be about, about three quarters full because once it starts, if you got too much oil in there, it's going to bubble over your your strainer. This is what we'll strain everything with. So now the cooker's on. Grease is heating up. We'll get the thermometer. This thermometer you can stick in your your oil or grease. And what we want to do is we typically want it to go to. Um, uh, three, 325 degrees Fahrenheit and that gives it a solid cook and then when we use our we fry our taters this adjusted or it'll set on the outside of the pot and we're, we'll have to remove this from time to time so We'll just set it right here. That way we can read it. And when it gets to 325, we're only at about 150 now, but we'll shortly be at about 325. When we get to 325, we'll put our potatoes in. And the potatoes will cool the grease. Fish fry really quick and we'll get to that later but the, the grease will cool as we do our potatoes so we want to do all those first so we're gonna we're gonna get our potatoes ready now let this heat up and uh, we'll show you how to get started on your potatoes okay we're back we're ready for our potatoes now and what we've done is we've sliced these potatoes in nice wedges and you can slice them at your preference so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the potatoes here I'm going to lift up our strainer and I am going to set my potatoes in it so that nobody gets burned. And then once the potatoes are in, we will slowly let it into the grease or cooking oil. And you'll hear it start to crackle. Okay, as I mentioned before, it will cool the grease down quite a bit. So what, what our goal is, is to run our cooker at 325 degrees. That way we don't scorch our grease. We scorch our grease, then we have to add all new, and that that takes a while. So I'm getting pretty warm, so I'm going to cool my pot down just a little bit. We want to keep our eye on that temperature gauge. It's very important that we don't boil things over. So right now we're running it about. 325. That's exactly where we want to be. So when our potatoes are done, they're going to start floating. And once they start floating, they they will be ready to come out. So, all right, we've got our potatoes started, and we'll get on the show with the potatoes. Okay, now we've got our potatoes cooking. What we're going to do is we're going to shuck some corn. We got some nice corn here. So what we'll do, all your Corn shucks are biodegradable, so what we just do is, if you got a place to put them like we do, we just throw them out here in the 
front yard here and let them compost. We live out in the country, so we've got a bit of an advantage on that. So that's basically all you will do with your corn. Is just shuck it out. And put it on your tray and we'll take it in and wash it a little bit before we cook it. But that's how you'll get your corn started. Hold on. Okay. So now the nep nephew, he's the he's the cook, so he's gonna take the pot and he's gonna put the potatoes in the storage pan. So here's what we will do when the taters are floating. He'll take that whole thing and he'll dump it right into the bowl. Okay, and now he'll quickly load it with the fresh potatoes. And you can take your spoon there. Okay, now he's ready to load it with the new potatoes. Get it all loaded up. Okay, that'd be good. Yep. Okay, and then we drop it in slow once again. And you'll see the grease start to boil and it will cool it down to the setting we want. So that is how we deep fry potatoes. And then we put our thermometer back in place. You can hook that anywhere. And then we get it ready to monitor our next batch and check our temperature okay we're at the fish frying part now we've got a got our fish in this basket here you can get these from bass pro shops you see the lid there and, and our fish laying in and we put the batter i'll zoom in the batter is down in the bottom underneath the grate so we can get ready to shake our fish up and drop them in the fryer Okay, we're shaking the fish now. We've got them inside the container. We'll turn it upside down. Shake them all really good. Get plenty of batter on them. Well, let's pop the top. Okay, they're nice and covered. You can see they're all ready to go in the fryer. Okay, let me hold the bowl for you. Wanted to throw the whole thing in? Yeah, put them all in there. All right. Okay. So, in about uh, roughly 10 minutes or less, we're going to take this pot of fish out and it'll be ready to eat. Okay, so we've just taken our fish out, and you can see they're nice, crispy flays after being fried. We put them in our container to hold heat, and we're going to get ready for the next batch, and he's loading it up. And that is going to conclude our fish fry. We hope you enjoyed watching, seeing a little bit how we do things. And uh, so... We wish you luck with your fish frying, and once again, just thank you for watching our video.